everybody, Brand Brands Bees here. So it is late May 2023. So my favorite time of year. So this is the time of year where we pull off a lot of honey. So I'm here with what I call David and Goliath. So David got two boxes of honey here and Goliath, we're going to take three here. We made a lot of splits this year. We didn't get as much honey as we wanted, but with that, we did make a couple production colonies. So we are going to get some honey. We're going to pull it. We're going to kind of show you how we go through it. So Step by step here, we'll show you a little bit of how um, our honey process works. So hang with us for and cut into how these hives look. All right, so we showed you the three supers. We're going to leave one box of honey so they can fill out of deep and a medium. We're going to do something similar to this one. Let them keep the medium and take two boxes of honey. Look at that beautiful wax and honey on top of these boxes. All right, so we're going to extract some honey. The bee escapes we tried to use didn't work very well, so we went with the manual leaf blower to get these bees out of these supers. You can see them trying to fly back to their honey. All right, so we got the honey off. Next steps, how to get these cappings off to get the honey out so we can put it into the extractor. So there's two things I like to use. There's a hot knife, looks like this. You can plug it in, it keeps it hot, so it's easy to run across. And then when the comb's not as drawn out, there's a scratcher we can also use. Um, basically just go across it either way, just scratch the cappings off and it allows you to basically spin the, or extract the honey out. So I'll show you what this looks like when you, the one you want to use a hot knife versus a scratcher. So for here, you can kind of see, um, these are one of our eight frame boxes. So look how far out they pull this. Now I like to get this about even with the frame. So you're going to see us remove a lot of this wax, but on this side, I might not be able to get in there to completely pull this off. So you're going to see me use probably the scratcher a little bit on this side. So I started to go ahead and cut this off, but then I want to show you how it works. So I'll just resume and show you how this works. So we'll grab this hot knife and we'll get nice and close here. So you can see this just go through and just completely cuts this off here. A little bit of a sawing motion. It's hot, comes off easy. It's our cappings bucket, so it's nice and simple. So that's basically how I like to use that. Now there's a couple things I missed here, but nothing significant where I need to use a scratcher at all. So I'll flip it around and show you what this other side looks like. So that side's nice and easy. So I think if you don't have um, if you don't have frames drawn, it's pretty hard to get those thicker frames because that's that's like an A frame spacing for in the box. So this is more of a ten frame spacing. So I'll show you what this kind of looks like here. So Maybe it'll run smooth. Maybe it won't. We'll take a look here. Okay, never mind. Maybe I won't need to use the scratcher because this might just come out just fine. <laughs> yep, so this comes off nice, nice and easy. Get all the cappings in there. And if you get closer here, you can see a couple of spots that it missed. So see, this is not uncapped. So you can just take this, either scrape it like this or dig under it to kind of get that off. Either way, you want to go through and make sure everything that hasn't been uncapped or like the edges here gets uncapped. As you uncap it, how it looks wet. With in itself and into the cappings bucket. Next, we'll actually put it into the extractor. So we'll stand up here and we'll come around and see what this looks like. So we kind of extracted some honey already. So, but all you gotta do is now it's uncapped, put it in. We have a four frame extractor, pretty nice. You put it in here and then you turn it around and you can fill four in. So that's one frame. So we're gonna put four in here and show you what's next. With the cappings off, you can see the center fuges the honey out, filling the bottom. So basically just slings the honey out, fills the bottom of the extractor. Okay, so we spun and extracted the honey. Next steps, filtering it. So with our honey, basically, or with any honey, you want to filter out the unwanted wax and unwanted bee parts. So that just basically gets it down to the honey itself. And for us personally, we keep our honey raw, so we don't heat it up. We like to keep those enzymes, antioxidants, and nutrients value of the honey. So there we go.
Cheers. 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 <laughs> about 100 pounds in i want to stop and talk a little bit more we showed you one one or two cappings here of how to uncap it so basically what i want to talk about is these are ideal frames right so like if you have uh if i could even lift this up my hands are a little slippery but if you have fully capped frames like this then there's no doubt about the honey content right because it's obviously all um evaporated uh the condensation's down or as the water content's down um, there's no question about it but if say you had 75 percent of it capped or you had um like 75 percent 85 percent and you had a little bit of open cells here in the middle then you can always use a refractometer just to make sure that it's below the 18 or close to the 18 percent water content uh if they have it capped already then there's, there's really no question about it a lot of times as they start to put the extra wax on it on the outside you can see the cells starting to shrink as they start to cap it because they dehydrated basically the honey to get it to 18 percent or below a lot of times, or a lot of a lot of times, people they use um, the fully capped honey with a little bit of open cells because the below eighteen percent, above eighteen percent blends to make around eighteen percent. But again, if you're worried about it being below eighteen percent content, you can always use a refractometer, test it out, and then go from there. So we'll show you what this looks like here if you really want to. But I'm just going to reemphasize the fact that these are again A-frame spacing, so you can see on this how far out this is on this now they kind of kept this shorter but this is kind of a frame spacing so we'll see what that looks like oh sorry these are like they're more than 10 pounds a piece and these plastic foundations are a little wobbly um it's not like the wood see how they, they wobble a little bit in the while you hold on to them so we're just gonna use this hot knife here and we'll kind of show you what this looks like again so you'll see a little bit of sizzling there we kept this pretty hot but cuts it pretty good now it is a frame spacing now i'm going to get this down to regular spacing again so that way when we go to put these back in and get 10 frames in they go right back to normal so see nice easy you can even cut the sides off if you want look at that it cuts it like butter real simple i'll turn this around i'll show you the other side so ah, again not too bad and then sometimes they do make uh it's called honey bread or they put honey and pollen together at the bottom a couple of those cells you can see it a little darker it's just because they have a little bit of pollen and honey mixed in with it after they cap it um it's pretty regular to see that so we'll go through another one here very simple now this is the portion where you either use the hot knife at the bottom or you can use a, a scratcher not a big deal either way but again, you can see this in here. So the black cells, there's a couple in there. Again, they put um, pollen at the bottom, put honey in it. Basically makes honey, uh, their honey bread. It's not a big deal. So, okay, well, well, once this gets done spinning, we'll put this in. So we'll continue with the process and on we go. With day one wrapping up, we're basically going to get a uh, a poundage of how much honey we got today you can see right there about 40 pounds in that bucket by itself we're gonna add this up go one bucket at a time we're pretty happy with what we got again i mentioned at the beginning of the video we made a lot of splits this year so that really hurt or hindered our honey production but we made a couple honey production hives so we're, we got we got a good amount of honey i'd say here i think we're getting close to 200 pounds for the first day not bad Something we can work on in the future is making more honey production hives, keeping our hives healthy. We just made a lot of splits just to maintain numbers. And then next year we're going to go for big honey production. But for this year here, you can see racking up to 181. And then I think this is the last bucket, 181 plus 44. So close to two, over 200 pounds of 225, as you can see there. So not too shabby for day one. All right, everybody, day two of extraction. So first day we got about 200 pounds of honey not bad for how many splits we made i was actually kind of impressed that we're about a little less than halfway 200 pounds of honey i'm happy with that and i just want to say if you're not trying to draw a comb out or you're just here for the honey do not put your honey in deep supers because i always forget how heavy they are because when we're trying to pull a couple of these off they're about 80 to 100 pounds a piece and again if you're here just for the honey small medium size is where you should go because it does not feel good when you try to pull off a deep box so first day i would take a couple of these off and then uh we'll just continue with our day two process
All right, let's take a look down into the second Honey Super here. Wow, they're attending every frame of this box. That is just some gorgeous looking frames. They put out a bunch of them. We didn't even do A-frame spacing in this, but wow. Okay, well, we're going to see how this turns out. We took two boxes off. This is a brand new box we put on here. And with the good wax foundations, I love Premier foundations. Look at this. Far outside frame. Draw on this. Look at that. That's an outside frame here. They have this drawn out perfectly on both sides. Now, it's not fully drawn out yet, but that's a 10th frame on the outside. And they're pulling it like that. That's insane to me. So, like, let me just break to the middle here. Look at this. Every frame is drawn out in this box. <clears throat> Premier Foundations, double wax. I should have got triple wax. I wonder how far out they'll draw on this. All right, let's fast forward. We'll take the honey over. All right, honey's off. Not too shabby. We're going to uncap it, put it in the extractor. And then filter it out here. Something small I want to mention um, while you're getting your honey. So there's a couple different types of cappings here. So you can see the newer white cappings. That just means it's new. They haven't had a chance to walk on it yet. And you can see a little bit. Even the honey might be a little lighter. It just kind of depends. When you're looking at this wax, it's just either it's been overwintered, it's wet cappings, or they just had a chance to walk on it to dirty the comb. So this could be dry cappings and this could be wet cappings. But you can see a little bit darker pieces in here. A um, little bit of white cappings, a little bit had a chance to dirty the wax on the outside. So, all is the same when you get the wax off the honey itself. So, you can see it all in there. Step two, uncap the wax. Step three, put your uncapped frame into the extractor. When it's done, pull it out. Dry it up. Look at the honey at the bottom. Step four in the process, filtering the honey again. This honey actually looks a little lighter than the day one honey. I think the day one honey is the majority of clover honey. This looks like a little bit of wildflower here and there, but filter the honey good. We'll take a look at it and we'll head to our honey room that we have. All right, everybody, this wraps it up for our 2023 spring honey harvest. So you can see all the buckets here. These are all, this is all raw honey. We didn't count this. This is a box of medium. Um, we didn't extract that. We have two um, buckets of raw cappings. We still have to filter those. That's fine. We still have about 400 plus pounds of raw honey here. So you can see, it looks good, tastes good. Um, the water content in these is about 14.5 to 15%. Uh, we tested it with a refractometer just, just to make sure. I mean, most of it was capped. You can see throughout the video, but I don't know. I just like to make sure. So everything looks, looks good here. Again, 2023 harvest, 400 plus pounds of raw honey. How awesome is that? So um, thanks for following along the process. If you enjoy our videos, learn at least one thing, hit the subscribe button. As Again, it's our first year journey. I can't appreciate you guys enough. Um, seriously, it means the world. So subscribe, hit the like. If you have any questions, leave them down below. But otherwise, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.